audience coordinator Susie Wiley has a delicious surprise for our studio audience this morning. Susie, this is something I like for dinner occasionally, oh, not gonna this, lie. This is amazing. Okay, it's a snack that's very American and perfect for the 4th of July. It's popcorn. And there's this great new comp company we've discovered called GH Creators. They have family ties back to the very first popcorn machine invented by Charles Creator in 1885 and it's healthy too. No GMOs, no artificial colors or flavors. Instead of corn syrup, they use brown rice syrup. It's kosher and gluten free. Over and I reach down to pick this up. This is from Creators Popcorn. Pop. They sent this in honor of the Oscars coming up on Sunday night because popcorn and movies, of course, go together. So. Uh -huh. And I did not realize this, but Creators apparently created the very first popcorn machine. Really? Yeah, oh, really? Like 1893, yeah. that's when they got their popcorn popper machine patent. Isn't that kind of cool? Mm -hmm. Will you finally open that? I'm yes, so finally. Hungry. Yeah, this is the kettle corn, by the way. <laughs> no, you so, don't have to open it. You can take it. Uh, too late okay. now. It's open. Okay. All right. So good well, deal. It's open. All right. What well. happened there, huh? <laughs> Put my hand in there. I'll get some after the I'm seven hungry. day. Before. Well, this morning, live in HD starts now. Well, you know what goes great with watching the Oscars? Well, of course, popcorn goes great sure. with movies and the Oscars. And when Charles Creeters invented the popcorn machine back in 1885, yeah, it's been that long, wow. the creation took popcorn mainstream and helped catapult it to one of the best-selling snacks of all time. They've got a lineup that includes Chicago mix, That's caramel, cheddar, here. kettle corn, so on and so forth. I love this Chicago mix, though. I mean, it, it doesn't sound like it would be good, because it's caramel and cheddar popcorn mixed together, but it's just it's it got really that is. nice blend of the yeah. sweet and and salty. I will say this: the the, the pop, this popcorn. This is the second time that they've been so generous to send us some. But I mean, it's like the flavor on the popcorn is just. Uh, intensified. I've yeah, never. It doesn't taste like bagged. I've popcorn. never had. Yeah, bagged popcorn just has never tasted so good. So again, thanks to the folks over there at GH Creators. So if you're going to be at home this weekend watching the Oscars, you need to pick up a couple of bags. Welcome back. It's one of those foods you smell and you just have to eat it. And if you're watching a movie at the theater, you're willing to miss the first few minutes to stand in line and get it. I'm talking about popcorn. It's all thanks to Charles Creeters, who invented the popcorn machine in 1885. All right, so the company today has evolved. And what's neat about this story is that it's stayed in the family. Oftentimes, it'll drop off of sure. a generation and, and it gets sold to somebody else. But mm -hmm. it's, it's been stayed in the family and it's all in the yes, family. it is all in the family. It's definitely all in the family. And our company now is is um, my mother and I run the business, my husband is involved in the company, my sister, my brother-in-law, so it's truly a, a family affair. Yeah, and this is all great and crispy still. Mm -hmm. Well, we are very, very particular about our popcorn. Obviously, we take great pride in it. Um, all of our caramel corn is still popped in, uh, made in copper kettles, the old-fashioned way. Mm -hmm. um, we're using really interesting ingredients. Everything is non-genetically modified. We don't use corn syrup. We use brown rice syrup to sweeten our, our popcorn. We use cane sugar and brown sugar. We use real butter. There's no butter flavor. So it's a really a real, true, homemade product. This is CBS 2 News. I think we're looking styling, but this is what you have to do when you go inside the industrial plants that make the food that we enjoy. Look at all this popcorn. We are here at GH Creators, and I'm here with Claire Creators. Your family making popcorn since your relatives invented it back in 1885. Yes. What's it like having that weight on your shoulders as you carry the tradition forward? No weight at all. It's really exciting. We're, we're really proud of it. It's an, it's an unusual thing. Okay, how much popcorn are you guys popping up each year? A few million pounds, maybe about three million pounds. Pounds. Well, thank you for showing us how it's done today, sure. too. Not so much a million pounds, but a no, little no, bit. Little okay, bit. so uh, this machine is really cool when it gets going. Go ahead and get it started for us. There so what go. exactly is it doing? So this popcorn is waiting for uh, a batch of caramel to be poured on top of it. And this is a, what we call an auger mixer, and it's, it's designed to coat every kernel perfectly so that we don't have any white space. Okay, take a look over here where they have all of the copper kettles going and this is what is going to be poured on top of that popcorn. Correct. What's this a mixture of? So this is a mixture of sugar, brown sugar, brown rice syrup, butter, all good stuff that you'll find in your kitchen. We use all natural ingredients. Everything is GMO free. Just flip yeah, the switch yeah, here because I want to have some fun. So we're going to mix up some popcorn for you this morning. You know, I used to work in a movie theater and I made my uh, fair share of popcorn, but it didn't taste like GH Creators. It does not. GH Creators are our signature flavor is our Chicago mix, which is actually cheap and caramel mixed together in the same bag. They don't sell that at the movie theaters. Will you make sure. some of that for me later today? We will. We will. We're getting started here, so okay. we'll see it. We'll be popping up all morning long here at GH Creators, so stick around. I'm not going to reach my hand in because... Be 
because that would be bad. Even though right. I want to. More coming your way, guys. Thank you for that, Vince.